Hey guys! Hey! Uh, Lisa, One Happy Face Creations. And I'm here to have some fun. I've decided that I was putting way too much pressure on myself to... Ooh, sorry. To do some stuff and get things done. And Oh my gosh. So, I'm just back to having fun again. I have... Uh, it's my mind's eye collectible notable and I think they're just really cute uh, double-sided lots of great uh, colors in them and stuff so and I love to have the little cards in here and little snapshot shots and stuff like that so um, I got two of these now when you're you know when um, these were what they called seasonal pieces seasonal books and they went on sale at Christmas time and I got these for like I think they're regularly $5.99 and I got them 80% off uh, because they were all part of the Christmas stuff so you guys gotta watch out for this stuff and they didn't even have it with the Christmas stuff I um, uh, I'd been watching them I knew they'd come in around um, Halloween-ish and was wondering one day and they had um, they had a sign that said like 40% off or something and I asked one of the workers I said hey could you tell me how much these are scan it with your little gun and and uh, they were 80% off so uh, yeah you just gotta kind of watch stuff at, at the stores when you go in there frequently enough you you learn to watch that stuff but anyway so I um, actually have three of these and I've got I, I bought quite a few um, I will show you my stack quite a few uh, sky's the limit I got three of those remarkable collection and these are I mean my mind's eye stuff you know that's that's good quality paper um, cut and paste charm. I got two of those. Chalk Studios. I got two of those. Far and Away by Teresa Collins. One. Teresa Collins memorabilia. Um, and then, uh, collectible, notable. Boy Crazy. I got two of those. And then My Girl. So, lots of fun stuff. And, you know, but you, you sit there and you wonder, well, what the heck can I do besides add tidbits to something else with your 6x6? Six six? So, today, I have figured out, I think, um, something that I'm going to do with these things. I went through my stash of, I just opened up to this front page that has a good bit of the colors throughout the book. And I just went through my stash of... Uh, leftovers from other projects and stuff and I picked a few pieces of paper that I think will coordinate pretty well uh, for tags and pockets and things like that so I've got that off to the side here for later on and there's 12 sheets in one of these so that will give me six pages I'm going to do a book with this and but I want to use the whole six by six piece so I'm going to make hinges uh, one inch and this is a, a leftover piece of a 12 inch piece of paper so I will get basically um, four of these one inch sheets. I probably should have cut the side off, the other side off first instead of the side with the hole, but it'll work. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, then put this in here. Now, um, this is cardstock. This is not uh, super heavyweight cardstock, but it is cardstock. I would not use a really light uh, sheet of paper on this. I would keep it as heavyweight as you possibly can. 
uh, for this part of it. This is some Basil Basic. Uh, this is curry spice. Uh, let me take this off. Uh, that's good enough. I just didn't want that whole thing on there. And I'm going to cut some one inch pieces off of this. Line it up. Keep forgetting I put a new blade in here. I use my blades until they uh, are ripping through the paper and it would only cut in one direction and then it stopped cutting in both directions. So I forget that I put a new blade in here and I can cut from both directions. So let's see, one, two, I, cause I don't know some pages I'm going to leave. Now I'm going to use the hidden hinge system, Kathy Orta's, Kathy Orta files hidden hinge system. So some pages are only going to need two hinges and some pages are probably going to be using three. So I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, get another, I want to get these, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I mean, fussing over it too much. That's six, and I'm going to get one more just in case. Well, you know what? Just so I have this piece, I'm going to not get one more, and if I need it, I'll, I'll make it. Uh, okay, so there's that. Oh, let me cut these in half. So then they'll be six inches. which will give us there we go okay so that gives us enough to do six pages which is all I'm going to have in this book put that away get my scoreboard out. This is a stamping up scoreboard. Let me slide this underneath here so it's out of my way. Whoops. And just going to go down half an inch. And sorry, I um I don't know how to do any editing on this thing, so you guys get to sit and watch me do all of this. But uh, I suppose to get you ready for this, uh, if you'll cut 12 of these uh, inch wide by 6 inches long, score them at 1 inch, and uh, I'm going to use uh, glue to put these onto the pages. And I mean, this is just a really simple, simple pocket. And then we can add uh, different uh, elements inside. Uh, the pockets. Um, I've got uh, some, uh, you'll probably play around with some envelopes as well and cover those up. Okay, so that's that. Then the other thing that we need to do is one of the books, and this will get you uh, all started up. I'm going to try and make this as simple on myself as possible here. I don't know to 
take all this off so that maybe they'll... I'm just going to take all of these. I, I find that if I don't do it this way, sometimes I end up ripping the actual down into the sheet that I need. So this way I can... Uh, make sure I don't do that. If I leave if I leave the front and back cover on it tends to screw things up a bit. Um, so we're going to pull all these apart and we're going to cut off that top section with the hole in it. Oh my goodness, I'm not very strong. <laughs> it's a little after 9 and I work today and I'm I'm kind of tired. Oh, woe is me. I'm sitting here crafting and complaining. How does that work? Uh, so, let's get all this stuff off of here. All right. Uh, other things that you're going to need is uh, Scotch Quick Dry or um, Aileen's Tacky Glue, whatever strong adhesive that you want to use. I'm going to put these on six and just start cutting them. Oh, what else? Ruler. I would say one to two six by six pads. Of course you can use any pad you want. You don't have to just use a six by six pad. If you have uh, a 12 by 12 that you want to cut down or I mean geez you could do this with any size you wanted to. I'm actually getting a couple of these at a time and with my new blade yay! It's just running right through them not having a problem in the world. It's been a it's been way too long since I put a new blade in there and I I forgot how nice it is. <laughs> I forgot. Uh let's see. You'll need a bone folder, some scissors. Really pretty simple stuff. You will need for the Kathy Orta's uh, Hidden Hinge, you will need, uh, oh goodness, um, mm -hmm. score tape. You'll need some score tape for that. Uh, I tell you, I have tried. I have tried other tapes. You know, the red line tape would work just fine. But I find that a bit pricey for my taste. Uh, I mean, score tape's not cheap, cheap. But the red line tape, and score tape's pretty good for what you get. I'm sorry I keep bumping that camera. It's my tripod. I uh, have it sitting here right in front of my face. And sometimes it gets bumped. Um, but the... The other tapes, I just don't find that they hold nearly as well as the score tape. I have taken a lot of time and I did a couple of books that I was going to sell. And I used that other tape because I listened to other people and they said, Oh, it works just as well. Well, it doesn't. And I will not sell these books. I don't even really want to give them to anybody they are, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move my camera because it's just about ready to fall off the ground, uh, onto the ground. Um, they're, they're just, they just are falling apart. Uh, I have to go in and squirt glue in there and everything else. And uh, that's just not the, the type of product I want to put my name on. So... I'm not going to sell them. I'm just going to be stuck with them. I'm going to sit there and and uh, all that work. I did two at one time and I just not a happy camper. 
So anyway, please don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, some people might have some luck with them, but I certainly did not. Okay, so we're going to take this and fold it in half. Let me find my bone folder right here. Much loved bone folder. Well, well loved. I just want to make sure I'm still in here. And let's get all of these kind of folded. And I, I, I am going to use the same colors together. I'm not going to use like one of these and a couple of these or anything. But uh, I, I just, I really don't think it's going to matter much uh, as far as, as one page to the next having a different, um, a different um, piece in there. So... They'll, they'll, each page will have the same color, but I think if I, if I do it well enough, you're not going to see much of it anyway. And I'm sorry you have to sit here and watch. This is about as exciting as watching paint dry or grass grow. <laughs> uh, so I am almost ready here. Um, but I'm going to use, instead of using some score tape on these, I am going to use wet glue. And I'm going to use the Scotch Quick Dry because it is a quicker drying glue and I can keep moving that way. Um, this, okay, so, and I find if I sit and fuss over what I'm going to do where, it takes me forever. Uh, I usually like to try and, and, but I've mixed them all up, so I, I'm not really sure what I've got facing what direction. I usually try and have, uh, like, okay, so this one, it's got a red this side and a, and a cream color here. So I want to have one of those facing this way so that I know, and I'm going to put this this way. And then I got one of those. And I got one of those, one of those, one of those. I, I won't remember. I won't remember. Okay, one of those. And then this. See, I knew I wouldn't remember. Nope. So this is still... Now I have this one here, so I'm going to flip this one over. I have this one here, so I'm going to flip this one over. I got this one, I'm going to flip this over. I know I put that one there. I know I have that one. I've got this one here, so I'm going to flip it over. I've got that one there, so I'm going to use this side. I know that I flipped that side over. I see the flowers here, so no. Let's see. Yes. So the flowers are going to go, this side's going to go, and then I know I had this, let's see, I think that was this last one here. Yes, so I've got that. Uh, okay, so I know I've got one of each side page looking at me now. <clears throat> So there's my first page, and I find in in a in a book where they all really look nice together, I find it's just easier just to do it this way. Now, for to start out with, I'm gonna go ahead and do the two opposite sides for this first one. Um, let me let me go over this. You have to have one opening for your hinge. Okay, and if you want a pocket, you have to have an opening. So if I put, of course they're going to go on the inside, but if I put one here and one here, then I'll have the hinge side and I'll have a pocket side. And this will be my top and this will be my bottom. If I do one here and one here, I'll have my hinge side and I'll have a pocket up top. So 
you just want to think about what what you want to do I will probably do three uh, like this and three like this I don't know um, I don't know I don't know what I want to do maybe I'll do them all the same this first time just just for giggles okay so we're just going to put some on the inside, just like this. We're going to line it right up to the edge of the paper. And one thing that I should have done, which I didn't, and uh, I will do, but I want to make sure before this really sets that I've got it all the way to the edge. I don't want it sticking out past the edge. Okay, so there's that. Give it a little burnish. Make sure that glue gets all worked up around in there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. However, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these ends down. Uh, reason being, I think it will help getting the papers to slide in. I'm still leaving my edge to edge here, but uh, I think it'll help. I might even round. I'll try. Let me see. But I want to get all around both edges here. And you could even flip your paper like this. Lay it down. Lay your edge down. And that way you know you've got it right on the edge. Right on the edge. Oop, that one moved a bit. Pull it down. And let's get that glue all pushed around. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little warm. I think my husband must have turned the Heat her up a little bit. All right. We're here in Florida, but it's chilly for us. So, again, same thing. Whoops. Get that piece of glue off of there. Don't want to glue my insides down. I'm going to try this again. Uh, now, you can, if you want to, do an eighth of an inch hinge and uh, to give it if you're going to have some thickness um, you could uh, give it like a little uh, like do one inch and then um, at one and one eighth and then you'd have a little bit of a space to do something in. You could also at this point <clears throat> have your hinge here, leave this, put another sheet in here, cut it down just a little bit, put another sheet here and maybe magnets and magnet this close and then this would open and that would open and that would give you more. But I am just strictly going to do pockets this time. I've got plenty of these to play with, so I am not, uh, but I want to, that's not the way I want to put my glue. I want to put my glue around the edges. Um, and then we're just going to fold this down and spread the glue. Uh, if, if you give it a second to set up like I did not do, it does not squirt out quite as badly, but I don't like skimping on the glue because I do want to get a good solid hold on there. Uh, so there's first page done. Again, hidden hinge side and putting together, um, you know, having a pocket here. And there's a full six by six page. So um, six by four photo, you might, you know, cut it down a bit, but there you go. So we're gonna do 
six of these and here's my next page and you see they work out really nicely in, with not much thought at all and let's just give these a little maybe I'll just round these like that just to get that little bit of help on there and I'm I want, I'm, I'm putting them on the edges here as best I can because I, I want that outside edge to really grab hold and I want that inside edge to be flat without a, uh, anything sticking up because I want my items that I'm sticking in there to not catch on anything. And if you have a piece that's not uh, not down all the way, you will constantly catch this, those papers. If you get a, to a point where you are just putting things in and out and it's constantly catching on there, you can take a piece of tape and put it right over that edge. Nobody will see it but it will just glide right over the, the tape. So there's just a little tidbit of information for you. Uh, get these cut. So, the Scotch Quick Dry is just a really good glue. Very strong. Gives you a little bit of time to play with it, to get it in the right spot. Then it grabs and you're done. And you don't have to sit there and wait and wait and wait for it to dry before you can do your next, uh, your next piece of the puzzle. I have been dying to do a book. I just have been trying so many new things. And I said, you know what? I want to go back to something I know really well and not be frustrated. But uh, I like learning new things. I've been playing around with watercolors. I've been watching a lot of you on YouTube that do uh, journal entry, you know, journal books, those art journal books and stuff. And I think they're lovely. And I've been playing around with it. I, I did a, a, a video kind of starting to get into that a little bit. But uh, I think yeah, I did a video on this. And um, and this is one that, thing that I've been playing with. So I've been playing, but I don't know. And, and I, I don't have... A lot of products like everybody else has all these oh my goodness the things you see them use and either I don't have the product knowledge or I I don't have the product and I'm, I'm not willing to go out and spend a whole lot of money on that kind of thing when I have all of these craft supplies page two done see what our next one's going to be. Okay, so we've got blue and we've got that. Beautiful! And at this point you really don't, you know, you, you want to double check that you're not going to get, although this one really wouldn't matter if it was on the top or the bottom. Um, there, there may be some that have, you know, just, just double check that you're not sticking something down that's going to be upside down. Uh, this this one I don't think really is going to make a whole a whole lot of difference other than on those two pages that have uh, verbiage words on them. Uh, but if you do have ones that uh, that have a left and a right or an up and a down, uh, you will have to take a little more note of that. But this one, simple and easy. That's what I was looking for. Simple and easy. Quick and fun. Okay. And, oh, oh, I started way too soon. I'll wait. Yeah. 
didn't want to do that much, but that's okay. That's okay. That's the part nobody's going to see. Big thing is making sure you've got it all the way across so that your page isn't opened up. Yeah! So I hope everybody had, I really haven't had a chance to say anything to anybody. I hope everybody had a very happy Valentine's Day. This is the 15th, the day after Valentine's. And uh, my husband was over at my mom and dad's. My mom got some surgery, and um, my parents are, are quite old. My mom's 89, and my dad's 93. And I work, so I wasn't able to get over there and really uh, do anything for them to help while my mom's in rehab. So my husband said, well, I'll go over there, and boy, let me tell you, is he making some good son-in-law kudos. <laughs> my dad took him out to dinner tonight to one of my favorite restaurants, and boy, did I feel left out. I'm sitting here. I, I mean, I made all right. I, I made a chicken and rice and bean dinner all in one skillet and just kind of like Wah. <laughs> woe is me I miss my husband but he is such a sweet guy such a sweet guy I tell you I, I'll find these projects at garage sales and stuff I, I have an Etsy shop and that's another thing that I've just been just been going crazy trying to find things that people are interested in buying on Etsy and uh, I, I buy a lot of things at garage sales and put them on Etsy but I tell you it takes a lot of work to put something on Etsy I was kind of surprised that just how much it takes um, so yeah, it's been a learning experience, and it seems like everything I do right now is new and and unknown to me. So, I I have been uh, okay. Now nah, that's not one of my favorite choices, but there's not really. I don't want it to be with the red. Uh, I think I'm going to switch this and this. Get those two together. Right? I think so. I think so. Because now that's going to give me that on one side. This kind of reminds me a little bit more of Christmas, I guess. But And then that on the other. And I've got this color here. So I kind of like that better. I don't normally fuss about that stuff too much. But I do try and pay attention a little bit to to my color choices and sometimes if I just don't like it at all I will not use it and use the other side twice but I tell ya in the past I think I stopped talking about something but in the past I have found that some of my favorite pages were actually done on the paper